Well, hey, good afternoon and welcome to the um, an HP webinar here for, uh, provided by Repro Products. Um, we're, we're excited to have you here. Uh, we're going to go through um, about an hour's worth of information for you. And uh, then we're going to uh, be able to have three different people be able to do some presentations for you during uh, the, our time together. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, there's, a, there's a chat area that you can uh, select uh, chat and be able to provide a question. And then at the end, I'll go through those questions and, and then we'll have our, our panelists be able to answer the questions for you. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, let's learn more about HP Graphics Solutions. So just as a point of an agenda, uh, we're going to do some introductions in a second. And then you also have an email that uh, you got from Repro Products, either from a marketing department or from one of our representatives talks about uh, something that you're gonna be able to get uh, just for attending. And then also uh, a, a point that we're gonna be able to pull uh, people out of a hat, virtual hat, I would say, that gives you a, a chance to win a very nice roll of paper. And then we'll go through an applications uh, center review. Uh, and then we're gonna go through wide format design jet, and then also go through some latex, all these from, from HP, and then we'll do some Closing remarks, and, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll close out with some questions. So that's the agenda. And now for a couple of introductions here. So my name is Sean Mooney. I'm the division manager for wide format here at Repro Products. Brenda Hansen is also on the line. She's our marketing director. Ryan Brigman is our partner business manager from HP. He's the one who calls on us and, and tries to tries to help us be able to sell more HP product. Jeff Wells is a solutions architect and he's gonna be going through the applications. Tim Mitchell, uh, he is our latex guru and that's exactly how I put it because he is, he knows everything about latex. So just for attending today, you're gonna to get a survey monkey and if you to click on that, fill out some quick information about the, the webinar and then choose, would you like a latex uh, swatch book or a design jet swatch book? Um, they are different. A latex can do things differently that design jet can't and vice versa. So you'll select the correct one for your applications and we will get that in the mail to you. And then also just for being part of this call, we're also going to have a drawing for a repositionable that's um, it's adhesive fabric and that is uh, going to be 100 foot long and 24 inches wide. Uh, and so you can be able to use that in both the design jet and the, the latex printers, and that's going to give you um, a nice finished product that then you can put on a wall, but then you can also pull it down and you can move it to a different wall. It's kind of kind of like a fat head uh, type of, uh, of material. So we'll do that drawing uh, and, and notify the winner of that. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Jeff Wells, who's our um, design architect. He's going to take it from here. Thank you, Sean, and welcome, everybody. Looking at the beautiful Repro Products building, I have had um, a very long and, and beneficial relationship with Repro Products. And it started me thinking when, when we were preparing for this presentation that Repro Products has been very successful um, for a long time, but they've really remarkable about it is that they have been consistently successful. And I think that um, two of the big contributors to that is that they have always had a keen understanding of market trends in our industry. But uh, just as important to that, they have embraced emerging technologies that have come along that have been really impactful on the way workflows look in, in our industry. Uh, and I think it's a testament to repro products that they've had the sustained success that they've had. We're thrilled to be here today for part of this um, presentation. So my part of this is I want to take us through the application center. Now this is a free web to print tool that will allow you guys to create your own poster graphics. In this case, that'll be the, our focal point, but the application center itself spans over a wide variety of HP printing equipment. We're going to focus on the ones that the design jets and the page wide Excel portfolio can do for my part of the presentation. And then, uh, Timothy's going to take us through some of the latex applications and what, what we can do there. 
I will mention that the same tool, this is a, a free tool to you, and there's a light side and a pro side. Now the pro side is more geared toward print service providers, but the light side is where you can just go directly into the design application and start working on your creations. And I wanna take you through uh, how easy that is to, to set up. So we have 16 applications and technically 17 now that we're doing the uh, masks. So out of those 17 apps, we're gonna focus on the ones on the left here uh, and specifically the poster app. So the way you get started is if you visit this URL, hpapplicationscenter.com, and we would enter on the right under Application Center Light and click on the Launch button. That'll, that'll take you directly into the designer. And you can see this is a pretty simple layout. Um, we've got some ready-made templates, for example, and right now it seems very uh, important as businesses to varying degrees are opening back up and allowing people into the workspace. Uh, it's gonna be more and more important for them to be able to create uh, social distancing signage as well as health advisory. So what we've done is we've actually uploaded some ready-made imagery, some that were provided by the World Health Organization, others provided by the CDC. Um, and then of course you can create your own or in some instances, some of the content that we have is editable so you could customize it for your own place of business. And the reason we see uh, such an urgency for this right now is we've got so many in our customer base that already might have uh, supported HP printing equipment and there's no reason not to use this free tool. Now you can outsource it, but there's a, there's a significant cost savings in, in taking on um, this kind of printing in-house. You can see on the left here, that there's a lot of images that we have uh, with Unsplash, which is a free service that has thousands of images, but there are also some premium content like Dreams Time or Pattern Design. So if you have subscriptions with any of these companies, as well as things like Shutterstock or, or wherever the library may exist, we give you a ability to hitch to those right from this web portal. Uh, in addition to that, you see Dropbox and Instagram are also available. So if you had a vast library of content, you could easily and simply hitch to that content uh, right here from this web portal. It's a very easy tool to use. Um, you see we've included some COVID-19 uh, health advice uh, and inspirational signage as part of the stuff that's ready-made. That way, if you're like me and you really don't have an eye for design, um, it's kind of like the design tool for the non-designer, if you will. But the way you would basically go about this is once you made your creation, you would uh, click the enter button. And for that first time that you're there, it will challenge you for uh, login credentials. And if you don't have an account set up already, there's a little link right below the little white box that you see where you can click on that link to sign up. Once you do that, you fill out the, the usual and sundry stuff, um, your name, your email address, and then you click on sign up. So the email address that you provided in the sign up process is going to be sent a verification code. And it's in this field that you can paste that information in and submit it. And then now you're, you're off and running. Now, some of you on the call already have supported HP equipment. So what you would essentially do here is select the printer model that you have from the drop down menu. And then you're going to have to know your serial number for your printer. Now, a little handy trick that I would pass along to you with my ever aging eyes, I've uh, found that it's hard to, to go behind the machine and right where the power cord goes in, uh, there's gonna be a barcode and there'll be a serial number and that's where you can get your serial number. But maybe if you take a cell phone camera and take a picture, you can then blow up the, uh, the size of the serial number uh, characters, because what I've noticed is the font we use for so many of our serial numbers, an S, for example, could be confused for a five, and a zero might be confused for a capital O. And again, you only have to do this the, the first time that you access the portal. And then when you've done that, you see on the left, this Summerfest, this is the creation in our uh, example here. You'll be congratulated that you've just finished your design. And then when you click finish, 
get the first time you will be given an opportunity to pick which print submission tool that you want to use. We highly recommend using HP Click because it's very simple and we can even automate uh, such that when we click on the little send to print button that you see in the lower right, it will automatically invoke the Click program. And again, Click is a free program for all of the design jets and for some of the PageWide Excel uh, portfolio members. If you're a SmartStream user, you can select that in the alternative or you see the supported third-party RIPs below and you can choose whichever one of these uh, print submission tools that you want to use to output your creations. And then finally, you see it in the lower right, send to print. And when you select that, you'll be taken to a screen where your file is being processed on the web. It's interesting because there's no software to download with this. All of the work and the heavy lifting is done uh, on this web-based application. So it's, it's truly a web uh, to print scenario. So what, what I'm doing here is I'm in my ac actual application center portal and I've already signed up for my account. And here you can see in the business section, we've got some really useful signage here for the um, distancing and uh, health advisory stuff. By all means, experiment and look around within the tool because um, if we look under education, for example, we'll see some of the the kind of health advisory poster graphics that are going to be hanging up at the schools, we get them reopened and get kids back in the classrooms. Um, but for the businesses, for example, these might be a good fit. And of course, you're not limited to doing COVID-19 signage or social distancing messaging. There's all kinds of uh, creative tools in here that you can use, as well as I mentioned before, Unsplash, we've got thousands and thousands of images that you can, um, that you can use. But for now, we'll, we'll stick with the templates because this, this is something that's probably on, on everyone's mind with, with the current state of affairs. I'll go back into the business section. So you see if on this one, if um, you can customize a lot of this, if I was work creating signage for Lowe's Home Improvement, um, the, this blue might be the right one. But if it was Home Depot, for example, that we were making the signs for, um, simply and, and easily go in and make, make some recoloring changes, um, things of that nature. Um, you can even go in, in, in some areas, edit the text, for example. This could say anything that you want it to say. There you have it. So it's a very simplistic tool. You'll probably be a subject matter expert within just the first couple of design creations that you do. But there's, you, if you'll hunt around a little bit, in addition to the photographic elements, we also have um, any number of vector graphics. The, that's just a quick look at some of the things that you'll find in here. Um, I'll clear the design and we can, we can use this one. When, when you've got your creation ready to go, you'll click on the next button and then you'll, you'll be taken to a, a screen that says, congratulations, um, it'll process your creation and then if you've got your output device selected, it'll automatically start, um, in, in my case, HP Click, because that's what I'm going to be using. Um, here's Click, and here's the, the poster that it sent over to Click. Um, from there, um, HP Click, again, this is a free tool that you'll be able to use, and it's basically driverless printing. You, you don't have to load a driver on it. Um, you can do all kinds of little things like resizing or uh, we could even do nesting or things like that for, um, for the various uh, applications that we might find. And then when we're ready, we just simply click on file print. If that weren't easy enough, we've actually developed some cookbooks. I'll see if I can call this one up. This is a very interesting, basically take you by the hand as we realize that not everybody on the call are graphic designers and don't necessarily operate in these lanes. So this, this document was designed to teach how to make posters within the App Center. And I mean, it, it covers everything. It, it'll even go through things like, what do we need in terms of the substrates, the, um, the materials that would be needed? Are we making banners? Are we doing uh, posters, et cetera? And even things like considerations of either the, the roll size, the opacity of the substrates we're printing onto, and it even asks things like, 
what's the, the application going to be? Is it going to be outdoors in the weather? Is it going to hang up for 30 days, for 60, 90 days or longer? And this will help um, the end user make the decisions on how prepare for the job and, and what materials they're going to want to use. I mean, it's, it's even got some instructions on the things I just covered on accessing HP Application Center, um, how to sign up for your account. Um, it's all right here contained in this documentation. You know, it's only about 15 or 20 pages, uh, but, it's, but it's very helpful for those who may not be doing this on a regular basis. So this is the kind of thing that, that we think that you'll have a very good need for, or if you're in the market for a new printer, Ryan Brigman is going to take us through some of the newer offerings. We support so many of the DesignJet portfolio models, but some of the really older ones may not be on the supported list. And that in and of itself might be worth looking at, uh, you know, getting into a newer printer because the cost savings is going to be so drastic uh, bringing this kind of printing in-house rather than farming it out. It may, it may make it worth your while to look at that cost of operation and the, uh, and the savings that could be enjoyed there. So with that, what I think I'd like to do is, is hand the share off to Ryan, and he's going to take us through some of the portfolio members and what we have on offer. Ryan? Great. Thanks a lot, Jeff. That was good stuff. So I'm going to share, like Jeff mentioned, I'm going to share this and let you uh, kind of take a look at the design jet, the current design jet portfolio. We're going to go through design a little bit on our page Excel product. And then I'm going to hand it to, to, uh, to Tim for latex, but really just to show you the portfolio that's available. Um, really all of these devices that you see here um, work really well with uh, HP application center, um, the poster app and, and uh, really HP click as a, a job submission tool. We'd like to say we have the broadest portfolio in the industry, and, and we do. We've got products that really fit all types of customer environments, from small office environments, home office environments, um, all the way up to really productive solutions that I'll share in a minute with, uh, with our page with Excel uh, portfolio. We're going to focus a little bit more on our graphics products today and get a um, kind of go through a few of the special features in a couple of those models, because Really, when you look at the, the application center that Jeff went over and some of the signage opportunities that are out there, um, those printers really do a good job, as well as our latex products for both indoor and outdoor applications and, and more long-term signage. Um, if you look through a couple things that we've done over the past few years, and I really like to, to really say that we've made print just about as easy as it can be. Um, many people have been intimidated in the past with large format printers. And today, um, no longer need, need to be intimidated. We remove the issues with much, much better solutions in our portfolio. The, the new, new products we're coming out with really solve a lot of the issues when it comes to user experience, um, really making it easier to print, making it quick and easy to learn how to use the device, um, really how to, to do it from a mobile environment. Today, we need, need to do that more than ever, and then really, um, providing products that fit really well into the office environment today. Uh, one of the things that a lot of customers are concerned with today is security. Um, really, uh, printers are, are also really computers and they really do provide threats and some risk to your environment. And uh, HP has world-class security, really best in class to make sure that we eliminate the risk of, uh, of anything in your environment. And then finally, solutions around how that you want to do business Both repro products and HP have done a lot of work in, in creating solutions that allow you to buy printers and service and supplies all in a contractual environment so that you really are just paying for what you use. And that's a popular way to do things today. So really that business model fits really well for many customers. So this is kind of the contractually enabled portfolio that we talk about. I, I say this is the core models for the business customer today. As I mentioned, um, all of these products work with a application center, with our poster app product, as well as um, many of our solutions that allow you to, you know, to kind of add on um, software solutions that make things just really easier and better. Um, today, we're gonna focus a little bit on the Z6 and Z9 Plus series to show you a couple really cool features that, that those printers um, really have. And so I'll, I'll kind of share just a few things that make a, make a difference to our customers that use these printers. 
bunch of new technology developed in this series of printers. And really these are in relatively inexpensive large format devices that can be really fit all sorts of office environments from you know our um, our city, county, government customer, our, our graphic or mapping customers, all the way up to signage and retail environments. Um, we have architects using these for renderings. I mean, we just got all sorts of customers using these great, great printers. A um, couple things that we'll talk about is really fast processing in these. Uh, the more, the bigger your file is, the, the more important that is. And uh, a lot of our uh, customers are using very complex files. So we're running a quad core processor with this device, um, both the Z6 and Z9. Um, we've got a couple new features that I'm going to talk about in a little uh, in a minute called HP Pixel Control, and then our HP HDNA print heads. That's some new a new print head technology. Really, our Vivid Photo inks allow you to do um, very high quality output um, using pigment based inks that are durable. Uh, they're water resistant, and they're really meant for short term, even outdoor application in some cases. Um, and then uh, our vertical trimmer, a, a kind of a first in class or our unique advantage um, that really only HP has today. Was, and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. So let's talk a minute just about the pixel control. As you can see here, um, great quality original photo that we want to output and, and reproduce and get it as close as we can to the original. And in the past, our current imaging process, before we kind of enabled HV pixel control, we could do a good job on it, but we did have some, some loss of really overall colorfulness, we call it. And so in, you can see it in the dark reds, some of the, the print looks a little duller, more less vibrant than the original, especially um, less detail in the shadows or texture of the skin. So with HP Pixel Control, we're really able to, to access more saturated colors using the same inks, the same media, and really the same printing process as, as currently. So if you'll notice here, we really do see um, an, an additional advantage. Sometimes it's hard to tell from the screen, but there is definitely some, some benefits in, into this. So what's the difference? What really makes uh, what do we see here? So let's kind of break it down for you. So we have more detail really with with pixel control. You can see more detail and contrast right there in her eye lid area um, really makes a difference. The colors are deeper. They're really richer um, and uh, really the transitions are smoother. So really with pixel control, we're able to really kind of take it to the next level of image quality um, and and we've really had a, a lot of success with this portfolio and the customers love this. One of the other cool things that we've got in this new printer te print technology is our uh, high definition nozzle architecture print head. And really what that means is we've been able to um, improve the print head, use less inks, and use different sized ink droplets to improve our image quality really with, and, and even our gamma, color gamut, even with less inks. So in this case, we have large drops that really help us to kind of fill coverage and give us faster print speeds. Um, if you look at our smaller drop sizes, we can do the, we can really uh, focus on the lighter areas that really reduces grain and visibility. And we're actually able to do this without the use of lighter color ink. Some of our older um, DesignJet Z series printers would have um, additional colors, um, really like, for instance, a light magenta or a light cyan. Um, and then we also had a normal magenta and cyan. So we're able to eliminate those. And um, with this illusion of smaller drop lights, we can actually um, can kind of make the eye looks like we're using lighter ink or really just using a smaller drop size. So it really allows us to get the same or better quality with less inks, which is better for the, you know, for you as a customer. Um, more productive and faster and less expensive to operate. And then finally, we can combine those, um, in many cases, large and small drops um, together. And in some of our colors were able to do that with, um, to really increase our, uh, our transitions, um, our gradients, really making a, a smooth um, image. Um, we're really an advantage in this technology. Finally, uh, the vertical trimmer. I mentioned before, it's really a big benefit to a lot of our customers doing uh, posters, doing roll-up banners, doing long panoramic photos, or really anything. And what Jeff was talking about with the application center, there's a lot of really cool images you can pull down that are what we call bleed, right? So they have um, no border. Um, so if you're going to print it on a large format printer, you really would have to take it to a table and trim off that white edge. 
but with the vertical trimmer that's enabled in both our, um, we call our DR or dual roll printers, um, we're able to do borderless print directly from the printer. And whether we're using HP Click or the driver, we can submit the file, send it over and have the printer cut it for us and really save time, save labor, save errors, um, really a big productivity gain um, by getting a full bleed or borderless print out of that printer um, without having to trim it. So a really cool feature and, and very unique um, in large format print. So that's kind of just a few kind of cool things that, that, um, that the new Z series have. Um, I'll take you through two slides on Pagewood Excel just to expose you and let you know what's, uh, what's out there. Um, and really the, the best way to illustrate Pagewood XL, uh, it's really a, a fixed print head technology, is really with this illustration. So I've, I've used this over and over with customers because it really does tell a story. Um, our design jet printers and even our latex printers that Tim's going to talk about all use scanning print heads. And so um, you'll see they, they do excellent quality and they're really, there's a great reason why we still use scanning print heads in many of, much of our technology. But if productivity is more important, um, speed um, definitely can be achieved through our page wide print bar. Uh, you'll notice um, on that right side, that print bar is just kicking out one print after another. Super efficient, very productive, um, and we're able to do that in full color as well. So that one minute animation actually is pretty true to life that we can do about 30 prints per minute um, uh, 24 by 36 size prints per minute on an, a page wide XL 8000, which is our flagship page wide device. So we have, um, we have the technology and the efficient and the productivity if needed um, for you. Um, this is just a kind of a close up of our page wide series. We have these uh, printers available in both printer only or multi-function printer with a scanner enabled. And as you'll look through, we have our full portfolio that fits different print volumes. So really um, from, um, we call it kind of low to mid volume customer production all the way to high volume in the technical workspace. We, we have it covered. So um, we just wanted to kind of give you just a glimpse of page wide Excel. If there's needs down the road for that in, uh, in your future, um, definitely repro products can help you fulfill that need. Well, that's my part. So now for the latex guru, I'm going to turn it over to Tim Mitchell um, and Tim, you can take it away. If you want to, uh, grab the share or I can stop sharing however you prefer. I'm going to throw a spotlight on my video. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Can you guys see video? There we go. I see video. So we're doing Jack Dempsey, right? That's what this is on. Jack Dempsey. <laughs> Jack Dempsey. So hi everyone. Well, my name is, my name is Timothy Mitchell. And uh, I am a latex guru, they tell me. So where's my compound and my Rolls Royces? You know, I don't have any of that stuff. I have my studio. It's actually a garage, but since it's a latex printer, it's now a studio. Solvent printers, then it would be a garage. So this is my studio. I am working from it. I keep my heavy bag up. Um, let me explain latex to you real briefly. What I have here is a full-on sign shop in a box. I have a latex 365. We also have 315, 335. So we have some other latex printers a little bit downstream. Then I have our latex cutter. Uh, it is powered by Suma. It uses a full barcode technology, very sophisticated, completely seamlessly integrated to the printer, running from the software. And the software has two parts. It has the full rip software, which controls the colors, it controls what you're printing to, it controls the cutter. So you send a file to the printer and then off it goes to the cutter. We use a barcode system, which uh, I have one right here. I you do my elephant Ganesh. And the barcode system lets you load a job in and completely cut it without any need to figure out what you're cutting because the barcode, which you can see I got a little bit of a mess here, it's a perf cut and a kiss cut. So I can't match any of the speeds of page wide. I mean, if you're doing a single poster or something like that and you're doing a lot of them, man, it's a way to go. What latex offers really is the versatility to print on all kinds of different things and then have them be outdoor durable. Okay, ours are all outdoor durable. 
either with its existing scratch and scuff resistance, or if you choose to laminate, then we have things like a seven-year outdoor durability with 3M. You can also do things like, like let's say you're stuck with a plague of hipsters, right? They won't leave the building. So you need to put a sign up and that sign has to be outdoor and it has to be around at night because they come out at night with their bicycles. So you have to have a reflective sign. We have warranties as high as seven, 10 and 13 years with 3M for that kind of signage. That can all be done on latex. Latex is a durable, outdoor durable, water-based technology that uses an inexpensive, thermal, replaceable, durable, reliable print head. It's all water-based. Latex technically is synthetic resin copolymer. That doesn't trip off the tongue, so we called it latex. And all that means is it's water, pigment, and then there's a synthetic resin copolymer, which with a little temperature, we have heaters right here, it activates the latex, it encapsulates the print, so you have complete durability. The minute this comes off the printer, it is ready to go. Do whatever you want to do with it. You can laminate, you can not laminate, you could go to the cutter. What this is really filling in, especially with the environment we find ourselves in now is, you have to tell people what to do in a way that reaches them because we're all walking around doing our normal life, but now we've got to go do it differently. Stop here, stand here, separate. Blue, where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. Blue painter's tape is not directional signage. Just because you make an arrow with blue painter's tape does not mean people are gonna follow it. What you wanna do is be able to print like I have here, these are floor mats. They're actually carpeting on top of floor mats, but this is a big circle that I have as an anti-slip surface, no lamination, all done with print and cut. I did all of the distancing information for HP facilities, which is one, two, three, four facilities, hundreds and hundreds of little arrows and signs, completely done here from this studio with this printer, this cutter, and the HP Flexi designer as well as the RIP. So I go in with designer, I take the images, I throw contour cut lines around them, I tell it to nest automatically to uh, make the best use of the available space. It creates a file. The file automatically has barcodes built into it. The file goes to the printer. The printer runs with a take up roll. It prints and prints and prints. My phone, which is connected to the mobile app through the print OS, monitors the, the print, make sure everything is fine. I didn't run out of ink, everything is going as expected. Meanwhile, after that's done, I'm over here on the cutter with this handy thing where I have got it on to the core. There's little holders on the back that prevent it from sliding anywhere. I tell the cutter, press the little button there, it says find barcode. Rolls forward, finds barcode, identifies the job, identifies which orientation, away it goes. When it's done with the job, it rolls forward looking for the next barcode. Well, surprise, I've got another barcode because I have the whole afternoon's worth of printing on here. This is continuing to print the next facility and this one is cutting away and dropping into a basket. And when I'm done, I press a button, roll the whole thing back up, put two pieces of tape, put it in a box and ship it out, I'm finished. The scratch and scuff resistance on latex is excellent. In many cases, you do not need to laminate this particular material. And these are out there. They're self or they're, they're um, anti-slip surface printable. So you just print right on them, trim them out with a cutter, ship them, stick them down onto the floor. When you're done, you take a heat gun, remove them, you're good to go. So you have a lot of solutions, window graphics, all kinds of fabrics that you can print on, natural fibers, heat transfer. You know, I do a lot of stuff with heat transfer. I was just testing a whole bunch of heat transfer yesterday, heat transfer t-shirts, natural linen printed directly on fabric, every form of banner, outdoor durable banner, films, backlit films, uh, window block films, um, installations for window perf, window cling, and all sorts of things that go into windows, privacy screens that you would put in windows. The message of what you can print on is enormous.
I mean, there's not much on a two or three inch core that you can't give me that I can't print on. And we have the media locator, which supports this huge portfolio of media that we have with certified medias. I think we are up to almost 1,200 individual presets for different materials available to LaTeX. So LaTeX is nowhere near the speed printing on posters. Okay, I can't touch it. That's really different. Certain materials, especially your page wide is your golden technique to get that done. What I'm doing is I'm printing a more, a, a much greater variety on a huge selection of third party medias to fill all kinds of specific niches. And honestly, this printer bundled with a cutter and the software and the design software, and then the whole portfolio of HP supporting software, because the LaTeX is integrated into that whole COVID print OS operation as well. All of it comes together. So for a very reasonable amount, you have a very reliable, durable outdoor printer, front loader, legendary HP reliability. We are the dominant technology in our particular class. It's essentially latex and all of these solvent copycats. And all the solvent copycats are gonna go away because latex really is a phenomenal technology. We're on gen three. It's a really a breakthrough. All of our flatbeds also running on latex. We also have industrial latex. So HP loves the latex because it's water-based, thermal print heads, end-to-end -end HP technology, and it is very much a tried and true product outside. I think in roughly 10 minutes, that's about as deep a dive as I can get. So I'm gonna turn this back over to Sean, Are you up? Yeah, thanks Tim, I really appreciate you taking the time to be able to do that and sacrificing your, your garage there to be able to- <laughs> It's a, a studio, HP man, studio. it's a studio. It it looks just like the one you have at the Experience Center. That's well done. Thank you. Um, uh, well, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to be able to present this afternoon. Uh, Jeff, that was outstanding to be able to show us the applications and, and how you can print out the, the COVID uh, signage. And I like that, that, you know, blue tape on the ground is not, it's not directional signage. Um, and you guys have seen it at, at your local uh, store that you go into. It's got directional signage. Uh, we actually have a customer coming in tomorrow who just got a huge job that they're going to be printing for the government. Um, and they're about to get two Z9 uh, printers to be able to print like a thousand uh, signs a week uh, because this, this directional and information is not going away anytime soon. Um, so I really appreciate that. And uh, Ryan and Tim, thank you so much. Uh, so as we talked about in the very beginning, and as you saw in the email, if you just uh, respond to the survey, Mikey, that you'll get this afternoon, uh, that link, um, answer a couple questions, and then send out, um, send that back to us, then we will get the, the one of the swatch books to you. And uh, you've got either the latex or design jet, choose one of those, and then we'll, uh, we'll get that to you. It, it's amazing that the versatility in these two uh, different printers. And then also um, from all the, um, the attendees the, this afternoon, we'll be drawing a name. We're gonna literally put them in a hat and draw a name. And so one of you will be getting a uh, 24 by 100 foot roll of removable adhesive fabric. And that's really repositionable fabric. It enables you to be able to print and then move it around on, on the wall. So I um, appreciate um, you guys being able to join us. We do have a couple of minutes here for some some questions and answers. Um, if you want to submit a question, um, just go to the chat and submit a question. We do have one question that um, has been submitted during, during our time. Um, the question is, can I get printed samples of some of our files to compare the quality of our current printer with uh, like the Z series or the latex? Can, can I get that? So Ryan, Tim, is there sure. a way of doing that? Absolutely. Um, we'd be happy to, to, to help you there. So there's a method to, to get print samples on pretty much any of our um, technology on the devices that you saw. Um, and I would just say reach out to your contact at Repro Products and they'll make they'll facilitate that and make sure that we get, a, get your files and get them printed and sent over for you to review. Okay. Yes, exactly right. 
Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so do that. Send that. Either uh, respond back. Um, you can. There's going to be a note section in the Survey Monkey. Uh, just respond back that you would like that, and then we'll have a representative uh, give you contact. If you were invited by a representative, or just send a note to that representative, and they will get uh, back with you. Get the file from you, and then we'll send it off. And uh, uh, we'll have um, either Tim will print that, or we have somebody else print it in one of our other facilities and then we'll get it back in. So great question. Um, and then also one other that I see here, uh, somebody is very interested and said, um, I'd like a demo of equipment uh, of uh, like the Z series or, or latex. How do I do that? And I answer that one, same thing. If you're interested in, in understanding more about the unit, I always like to kick the tires of anything that I'm interested in. So same thing, go back to your, um, your, your, uh, representative or respond to survey monkey that you would like to have a demonstration and we can do that we can do that actually in person here at repro products uh, we can do it at the experience center um, obviously with uh, with probably with masks and um, distancing and all of those things or we can do a virtual demonstration uh, we have some outstanding tools from HP that allow us to be able to show you the unit be able to do a 360 degree um, uh, view of it and then also dive deep into the different features and answer any questions and then a bit depending on the one that you choose we can do print samples based on that and then get the output back to you so it's as if you came um, to the location and saw a print job all right yeah, Sean, Those I'll, are the just, two add, that were I'll just add to that Sean that the what you see yeah. from Timothy today we can do that not only with latex and latex and Timothy does a great deep dive demo for more specific uh, customers if you have that and then we do the same thing uh, Jeff's got a design jet XL 3600 in his house we've got a couple other uh, texts with Z series and, and other design jets and page wide so we really do have that virtual demo um, offer uh, available and it's uh, it's it's really effective and, and good that's excellent one other right. question that I hear a lot is, is the app, HP Application Center really free? <laughs> yes, it is. I know that's surprising, but it is. And the only really thing that you need is an HP printer to print the output. So don't forget to take advantage of that. Yeah, it's a great point. Yeah, when we first learned about that Application Center and all the different um, templates that are there for uh, for the posters, but then also being able to go in and um, if you get a latex unit print on uh, T-shirts and heat transfer and, and, and then with the print and cut solution where you can put stickers, you know, design stickers and then submit them and it, it'll duplicate them, nest them, cut them. Uh, it's just fantastic. So I appreciate everyone joining. Uh, I don't see any other questions right now. So I appreciate your time this afternoon. Uh, complete the survey monkey you'll get in a little bit. Send that back to us and we'll get your swatch book out and then we'll also uh, have a have a drawing for the paper uh, for the repositionable paper. We appreciate your time. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks everyone. Thanks all.